Yeah, that's better. Hello, I'm Coach John Shepherd, and in this video, we're going to continue on from where we left off last week with the triple jump. And this video's focus is on the step phase. Again, as last week, a little bit of background. Very often, the step phase is the yeah. weakest element of developing triple jumpers. However, as lots of research indicates, it needs to be around about 30% of the total distance of the triple jump. You'll see that Christian Taylor had one of the longest step phases at just over 31%. There are various reasons for this, and it could reflect that on his winning jump, it was jump dominated, thus his hop was of a lesser distance compared to some of the others as a percentage. This would mean potentially he kept more of his speed for the step and jump phase. In issue 2 of the Jumper magazine, we took a look at phase ratios and you can see that a 2% differential between the hop and jump phases determines whether a jumper is actually jump or hop dominated. So do go back and check out the issue for more information. Okay, so let's take a look at how you can improve your step phase. Now I'm going to take you through an actual training session that I did as this sets up the movements required for developing the step. That's it. There we go. Good. At the end of the step, you've got the knee lift and push out of the leg ready to go into the jump phase. So this drill specifically works on that aspect. And notice we were combining it with the long single arm action. This is the method that Jahisha uses. So it's always a good idea to use the same arm action that the jumper does when they're competing. That's it, good. This drill works on keeping the legs long and working the foot back into the track surface. And as we progress through the session, we elongate the distance covered so the movement becomes more step-like and there's a greater swing between contacts. The hips, as I always talk about, are crucial for triple jumping and long jumping and sprinting and the athlete has to be able to swing them. Okay, start to swing the arms longer and get the foot out in front, get the arms to swing. That's it. We'll do two to three reps of each drill, of which there are three to four, depending on what I intend to do with the rest of the session. Notice again the focus on the long arm action, again to transfer that into the actual technique of triple jumping, and you'll see how we work this when we go on to the next drill. When it comes to developing the step phase, I've found that using two platforms, low platforms, one slightly lower in height than the second, can really develop the step phase. To get a really strong step phase, it's crucial to swing the free thigh up and away and to hold it. So the second platform will enable this to be achieved as the jumper has to lift the thigh and hold it in order to be able to step onto the platform. This was actually Jahisha's first session with these platforms and I gradually separated them more so that she could hold her positions for longer and as she gained greater confidence and this latter effort was particularly good. I'm not going into too much detail now as I'll cover this in another video but subsequently her jumping really improved in this particular session and her step phase was much, much better. You'll see the free thigh coming up and being held in the step phase. And there was also a really good balance between the phases and they weren't rushed. So going back to the start of this video, we're trying to get that 30% spread or thereabouts between the three phases. Do look out for new and existing videos on Triple Jump on the channel. And good luck with any competitions you may have and of course your training. Do subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you may have in the section below or through my other social media.
If you'd like to support the channel or become a better coach or athlete, then do check out the members area on the site. Go to the channel's homepage and click on join and you'll see the various offers that are available. At coach athlete level, for example, you'll get a monthly exclusive video and regular community posts that talk about biomechanics and other aspects that will improve you as a coach or athlete. And for just $1.99 a month, you can support the channel and help me to produce the content that I'm doing at the moment. If you would like information on the free lap timing system, which is accurate to two one thousandths of a second and is extremely portable and works via Bluetooth and your smart device, then do get in contact with me. Likewise, if you'd like information on the NeuroCore MyTouch bioelectricity device, which is great for recovery, injury, rehabilitation, sports massage, and even the enhancement of sports performance, then do get in contact.